Amazon is the dream company. Amazon. So Baidu's really need to scale down its the the level of ambition that they had and the speed at which they were trying to pursue that ambition. I'm actually in pro with uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy. In order to scale up India towards that kind of a at, uh, like in, into that kind of a league, I believe we need to put in many kind of productive hours, maybe 70 hours, 60 hours. The role of Satya Nadella was much more difficult than Bill Gates because of the sheer expectations that Satya Nadella had. He just chose to buy buy our Twitter. to just satisfy his ego that message is not correct is what i feel should i start up or should i go for a job no no wait Should I work in a small company or explore a multinational corporation? These questions cross mind of every final year student no matter what you are studying. But what if I tell you answers to these questions are subjective? You don't believe me? We are at MDI Gurgaon. Let's go and talk to some students here and ask what answers do they have on these questions? Where on this show call the old view. We talk on the burning issues of today with the generation of tomorrow. My name is Abhinav Chavedi and I along with the team of Mint welcome you on this journey of un- unconventional answers. answers. Let's go. Okay, hello MDI. Hi. Uh today we'll be talking on entrepreneurship and jobs. Okay, what is more feasible for you and why? And to talk on the subject, apart from you guys, we have with us Praveen Sena. I let Praveen make his own introduction. Praveen, please. I started uh, my first venture while doing my MBA. It was Aquabrim, which was into IoT and water automation. And then I started e-commerce, uh, Jabong. Now I have fintech, I have hedge fund, and uh, from a professional. career working in corporates i have worked with maruti microsoft and mckinsey i am also part of investment committee including uh, in the board of investment committee of iim and also of uh, psus which does invest in startups a uh, one global entrepreneur or a national entrepreneur who you find a little finicky and something needs to be changed in his or her strategy or one global company or a national company whom you feel that something needs to be altered maybe in their marketing strategy so i would say byju byju okay. byju is really need to scale down its the the level of ambition that they had and the speed at which they were trying to pursue that ambition because the speed at which they were going was breakneck and it they, they stumbled as a result of that what would you do so i would just scale back my level of ambition but actually just pace it out not just go for the kill in just one or two years just maybe have a more long term perspective and try and build things a bit more slowly i would like to suggest something for tim cook because of his apple products if you see the iphones maybe 13 12 and 14 or 15 or whatever even if 16 all the lands in i believe there is no much of a sophistication or any new additional products that are being added in and just because of the apple ecosystem and the pride of apple is just you know taking all over and in increasing the sales without any kind of innovation uh, in, into apple products maybe iphone or macbook or anything else i believe uh, tim cook needs to work on his innovation part right? because uh, pr- since a pretty uh, long time uh, the products have been uh, repetitive and maybe one or two couple of features here and there wouldn't make any big difference with the kind of pricing that you know they're uh, tagging along with uh, their products you miss steve jobs yeah, yeah oh yeah uh-huh. yeah so yeah. do i man so do i yeah. i'm choosing elon musk the way elon musk has chose to fight against twitter or the way he has handled the in a way he has he felt ashamed because of some certain amounts of activities that have happened the way he chose to buy the buy out the company and change it to x and try to make so many so many changes where the liberty is too much he just chose to buy buy out twitter to just satisfy his ego that message is not correct is what i feel if you were a chief advisor will you ask him to you know sell twitter off Saying, no what no will you ask yes so he changed the identity of twitter what does he need to do now according to you my solution to him is like do not phase out everything that twitter has developed for the last 10 years 
पेप्सी को आई वुड से बिकॉज आई थिंक एफ एम सी सी प्रोडक्ट इज़ वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव एंड वी ऑल सी दैट देर इज यू नो श्रिंकेज ऑफ द पैकेजिंग एज वी गो एंड आई थिंक या एंड देर नीड्स टू बी सम यू नो नॉलेज गिवन टू द पीपल हु आर कंज्यूमिंग इट एज वेल एज वी सी वेल वे किस वी यूज टू कंज्यूम लेस विच हैड पैकेज फुल ऑफ चिप्स नाउ इट्स मोर ऑफ एयर एंड एवरी कंज्यूमर इज अवेयर ऑफ इट सो आई थिंक वी शुड बी मोर यू नो अवेयर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स नॉट थिंक दैट कंज्यूमर्स आर लाइक अन अवेयर ऑफ दीज थिंग सो प्लीज लाइक यू नो हैव सर्टन Yeah, more add more chips into the packet. I would say that. Add more chips into the packet. Sina Sab, you want to add more flavor to the answers now? So I think uh, the awareness level is good, and uh, all the answers were something which uh, not only media covers, but it is in the general discussion as well. I would choose uh, Apple. Uh, I think reason being uh, the company was known for its innovation, and it had established uh, as a leader. But the things. will change if that momentum is not continued now the first debate which i would like to invite you for is a bootstrap startup versus a well funded startup a bootstrap company for sure because uh, it directly boils down to the point that we want to have control in our life both in work and life as well so uh, in case of a bootstrap startup it's mostly about not giving or losing authority or control to someone else uh, finding the right product market fit on uh, on themselves uh, trying to gauge the market trying to gauge the demand and the supply and then really try to create an, an economy for the, uh, themselves and for others also a uh, well funded startup does all of that even vc who are funding a startup gives the control to the board of that company only and uh, the well funded company will do all the things they will gauge the market they will find a gap and they will also function and they will also have the freedom but one thing they will more have that the scalability of the operation when you are uh, taking money from the market your uh, operation size can increase by can increase by 10 20 10 20 times but a bootstrap company will have only the power of the cash flow that they are generating while a uh, funded company can take the money from the market and uh, grow their business uh, it's a double edged sword so to say because if you say that your profits will grow by uh, some x number of multiples but at the same time it's risky by x number of multiples as well uh, in the case of bootstrap uh, not only do you have control over your uh, equity there is no risk of agent principle problem because in the case of a well funded startup or a well funded company uh the mo- main motive of uh, the uh, investors is that they want to take an exit aim of the investor is to take an exit but he wants to take a profitable exit he won't take a unprofitable exit so it is a good thing for the company too and the other thing was leverage if you are not take into taking risk why are you even a uh, running a startup it is a double edged sword but you have to wield it we can directly take example so we are in the cycle where uh many investors and many vc firms are t- directly taking an exit softbank has already sold off uh, 150 million dollars in the last 3 months so they are really looking out for uh, minimizing their losses they are not looking for the welfare of the economy or for the founders and then secondly uh, if we take uh, the fate of open ai also so a lot of corporate governance issues are also happening because they raised a lot of money from microsoft uh it had created a loss of control for sam altman the issue of corporate governance i think will be more in the uh, bootstrap because we in the in a vc startup we, we have to report to them so you cannot do anything you want and the other thing was sam altman issue is completely different he was being uh, changed because he was uh, the board was of the academicians they wanted to uh, make the chat gpt limit chat gpt implementation now the corporate board is there they want to increase the scope of chat gpt that they had there i'll go with uh, bootstrap and the reason is that in the current phase what we are seeing is the culture of raising fund at the cost of uh, burn has become the new trend and that's why the new culture of bootstrapped which will be fundamentally strong and stable makes sense having said that at a certain phase if you are profitable then there is without losing control you can have debt and we can also have growth capital where you don't lose and dilute your control so answer should be raise when you are stable take a loan when you are going for an mba don't take loan when you are going for nursery if i ask you to name a startup global or national which is your favorite and why would that be So I think Physics Walla has done a good job because initially he started on his own. He started his YouTube channel and then he worked his way through. 
at in the initial stage he did not have any plan on how to make money he just saw a problem and he could not live without solving it as he grew he grew organically and in later stages he, when he got wealth and investment then he was able to manage that well as well ola and is founder bhavesh agarwal because not only is he the founder of one startup uh, ola caps and he beat google uh, not google uber and it's a global giant and to beat that is a really big deal and on top of that he started ola electric ola now manufactures the largest number of ev two wheelers in the country but i have to say zepto zepto uh, yeah one reason would be the young founders that they have they started the company when they were only 18 or 19 and they are still 21 why uh, old founders are not good but this is this shows how the youth of the country is also having that risk taking capability and how they can also make a big impact how they started very small just from a whatsapp group and how they have changed the entire industry where giants like big basket growers all have to change their business just because some 18 year olds thought of some idea one startup that i really look up to is zerada because the kamath brother have done a great job not only have they added the you know economy and asked every youth to uh, be a part of the stock exchange so i think people forget the business part of startup as well and they only see the vc funding and zerada is a testament to how you can be pro- profitable as well okay now let me flip the question from entrepreneurship let me talk about jobs okay which would be your favorite or dream job and why so i'm currently a student of hr right now and okay. that is a field that i'm interested in that would be my dream job you would want a job in an hr consultancy or in a corporate a corporate i think which one would that be if given a any chance any corporate no if you given a chance what would that be uh, any corporate no, any corporate doesn't exist <laughs> No, I'll take the job. You give me the job. <laughs> hey, you got to name some company, yeah? Huh? Uh, Any I'll company. Just... Everybody is a dream company, don't we? Uh, yeah, so he's, Amazon he's is my dream yeah. company for huh? me. Amazon is the dream company. Amazon. I believe one of the companies is Razorpay because it has enabled technological enablement for almost all the startups and companies that are around. Uh, so I think my dream job would be a uh, one product management over here in a product management role. You get to be a mini CEO. It's overall fun, I believe. Overall fun. Any dream company? Google. Okay, now you know there are two kinds of people whom we talk about or hear about in the business and corporate world, or maybe startup world. You know there are people like Satya Nadella who have a job, but it's a very high-profile job, right? A job like a Sundar Pichai, a job, but a very high-profile job. Now, if given a chance, who would you prefer, a Satya Nadella or a Bill Gates, a Sundar Pichai or a Larry Page? I think uh, both are equally important. Like Bill. No, you cannot be diplomatic, darling. No, I, 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 I'll give the final answer later. so both are equally important bill gates started something and then satya nadella sort of sustainably uh, kept it going uh, but if i had to choose i'll want to be the bill gates who sort of look at the world figure out a problem and then work out the problem and then give your life to sort of uh, make the solution for that particular problem i think that a founder plays an important role in any organization because if you look at the two traits uh, a founder and a ceo a founder will always possess the traits of a ceo but a ceo not necessarily will possess the traits of a founder okay. a founder has to be a show runner as well huh. he will provide the platform to the next ceo okay. so definitely it has to be the founder okay. any day satyan adela while he is working so he has to manage the expectation of the founding members and the in- investors but also he had to look at the market what are their viewpoints how the employees are thinking where they want to take the company so he has to consistently navigate between different opinions the principal agent problem particularly it is called as and then come out with a particular solution how he thinks huh. so it is a mo- it is a more prominent role ceo has more to prove because they are just coming into the role a founder already has that established respect within the organization and outside okay. that they clearly they have the ability to do the job so i would say satya nadella because satya nadella took over uh, of my took over microsoft when the company was at 300 billion of market cap but now it has touched a uh, trillion dollars in terms of market cap so in terms of the net addition of value so satya nadella has delivered much more than i think i would say 2x of what bill gates or any other ceo ceo before him did uh, Okay. So I would say Satya Nadella. Did you just Google the valuation which he? No, I remember. It. You remember it? And these are rough figures, not actual. <laughs> What I believe is uh, the role of Satya Nadella was much more difficult than Bill Gates because of the sheer expectations that Satya Nadella had when he took on the top role. Uh, we want to be Bill Gates right now because of Satya Nadella. We mm-hmm. don't want to be like founder of something like Kotak. Okay. because they didn't get a satya nadella in their company if there was no microsoft there would have been no satya nadella hmm. so it's the other way around that you need entrepreneurs who actually create stuff who innovate hmm. and bring in the revolution professionals would always be there to bring up the efficiencies build up the scale okay. but it's the start that's needed now 
you all heard narayan murthy's recent comment on 70 hour work week yes you heard or not yes okay so what do you think about it you have any opinion there should 70 hour work week be allowed or is it too much ask measuring the work that an employee does by the amount of work that they are putting in uh, by the like number of hours that they are putting in is not justified so uh, instead by the productivity given the times that we are in and the increasing emphasis on mental wellness and all those okay. it is important that there is a fair balance between work and life and not uh, just measured by the amount of work, uh, hours that are putting in that we forget that life is more about life and other things of a family and respect and everything so when we take uh, we want to be china plus one we always forget that productivity is what investors look for and not just how many working hours are there we can give incentivize work finishing off earlier than you know asking them and forcing them to stay for a longer hours i think that is more effective i'm actually in pro with uh, mr narayan murthy but if we have to compete with the first world nations we really have to keep in lot of hours you know just to reach their magnitude their scale their or whatever their their economy is in order to scale up india towards that kind of a atmo- like in, into that kind of a league i believe we need to put in many kind of productive hours maybe 70 hours 60 hours i understand his point but it should not be forced okay and uh, Uh, it should not even be the norm if somebody is willing to work 17 hours or 70 hours whatever then that is fine but uh, the norm should be that there should be a balance of work and life and uh, work is not everything work is not everything you know we've had so many discussions on work is not everything and there's life beyond work so let me ask this question to all of you work life balance what is your opinion about it how important is it and firstly what do you understand by work life balance kya hota hai so i have worked in the steel sector as a operations manager and i observed that working in different shifts across the day uh, it really hampers the work life balance so to say uh, what i have really understood is that you have to learn how to balance uh, you have to make your uh, aims your ambitions clear to your employer that okay boss i am not going to work in this in this time slots but at the same time you have to put in hard efforts i think work life balance is a very vague concept because very vague concept. yeah because work and life how did this two become separate entities i think work is an integral part of life so if we start looking at work as a different entity than life there has to be life in the work that we do so work life balance looking at it from that view point is very uh, i think is a polarized concept if given a chance if you have managed to secure a good funding round or maybe if you have managed to have a resources in which sector will you start up and why and if you have a business idea in my mind in your mind not in my mind yeah in your mind what would that be now one thing that a lot of people miss while coming to india and everyone wants to be in india is that they don't know how to market to indians and there's a gap between showing them as premium brands but they miss cultural factors that they see so creating an ad agency that is catering to particular industries and uh, you know cities and cultures don't you think that there is an ad agency right now which already uh, addresses that problem in india you don't see any agency doing that so there are big players but someone who is you know uh, catering to the small startups who also want to be it's a huge pay for them so starting something small and affordable for every uh, you know company to be a part of i think would be a better opportunity we both were actually have seen a gap in the market with respect to the wedding industry wedding industry yeah yeah we have seen that there is no major player in the wedding industry and there is so much of amount of scope uh, you know with respect to indian weddings so we both actually were are working Working currently working on that idea itself we want to scale our startup up and you know pitch it to a couple of in a wedding you have to run from pole to post to procure mithai pandit pandal everything so we were trying to create a solution that will be a one stop kind of marketplace where you can procure anything for a wedding ceremony don't you think wedding planning is already done too much in this country and there's a scope of lot of fraud how will you handle that the industry is about 50 billion dollar in size like there will be a investment of 50 billion dollars in this year only in the indian wedding industry so huh. the for fraud we can do kyc we can do uh, Uh, we can onboard only customers that we verify okay and we also can do a integration with shadi.com and other kind of website pet uh, grooming services as well as veterinary services in india is a very untapped market because most indian households lot of them don't have four wheelers which causes you know gives them trouble in transporting their pets and pet parents to actually go to vets so i think a mobile service which is actually kind of prevalent now and i think it's a market which will not only uh, help the current pet uh, households but also urge people to adopt more pets okay. and you know one major uh, 
uh, outlook that is being very overlooked is men's clothing so uh, there's a lot of potential of changing how the men dress because uh, because of rising disposable incomes and uh, the uh, westernization impact that is there so there are very few men in india i believe who are very conscious of what they're wearing and there is a whole uh, world out there where, where we can revolutionize how it's going to be and you don't think that's happening in india as of now i believe it is happening but it's at a very nascent stage hmm. there there is a lot of potential in the market to uh, formalize it and bring it to a next level do you think that uh, women's clothing are over addressed and men's clothing is under addressed yes. you think so yes. okay and you you think there's any reason for that uh, usually women are very self conscious of what they're wearing as compared to men hmm. especially when it comes to uh, indian context i want to have a startup in the domain of sme consulting sme uh, consulting yes. so the basic idea is that contribution of smes to the country's uh, gdp is upwards of 30 40% and i believe that not many have the expertise or the core expertise to scale up their business to find the right sources of where to finance their business to really create a good product market fit i think with the resources available a startup idea that i want to pitch would be regarding managerial effectiveness especially in the sales force of bfsi sector so it is especially important because a lot in bfsi sector especially in sales uh, there is high attrition especially the first year attrition is extremely high hence it is extremely important that their own managers uh, set clear expectation the complete feedback and the huddle that happens happens properly and this gap has been identified so if we can provide a digital sort of a solution or ai based solution where the manager can have a checklist and regular uh, regular i would say touch points would should be there so that they can reach out to their own uh, sales member okay that attrition can be reduced and then market can be better served as well firstly how do you rate their answers number 1 what do you think of their answers number 2 and number 3 uh, how do you find some answers which were like proposed when it comes to starting up which sector business ideas wagera wagera i think uh, the discussion was whether job is better or entrepreneurship is better so there is no right answer the answer is you need to reflect on your profile what will you enjoy more do you enjoy a structured org structure where there are processes set or you can enjoy flux so based on that you should take a call both has equal opportunities now what i heard where some of the areas that we get proposal on startups like men dresses etc so definitely good uh, spotting of uh, gaps then there was wedding planning wedding planning is huge opportunity but very difficult to crack same was the case with sme consultancy so one is spotting the opportunity in terms of ki problem kitna bada hai to problem to bada dhoond liya lekin solution क्या निकालोगे एंड हाउ प्रैक्टिकल इज दैट हाउ विल यू इम्प्लीमेंट इट एट्सेट्रा विल बिकम द नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ चैलेंजेस दैट यूल हैव टू सॉल्व फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए आई इज द बर्ज वर्ड तो हम लोग जाते हैं जब इन्वेस्टमेंट कमेटी में तो वी कीप हियरिंग वट एवर इज द बर्ज वर्ड ऑफ दैट फेज सो लेट्स ईयर एंड हाफ बैक हर स्टार्टअप बोलता था ब्लॉक चेन है चाहे हो ना हो अभी जहाँ जाते हैं वहाँ सब बोलते ए आई है चाहे हो ना हो so the in the committee also there are different people who set some of them are deep into it so they understand ki goli de rahe hain some get impressed so it's your luck mere khayal se long journey agar dekhna hai to be a content creator create a product which will sell without you trying to sell to so ideally agar kuch start karna chahte ho to do log raho ek banao ek becho क्योंकि बेचना एक अलग कला है बनाना एक अलग आर्ट है ओके व्हेन इट कम्स टू ऑनटरप्रेन्योरशिप अ जॉब स्टूडेंट्स टुडे हैव अवेयरनेस एंड दे वेल अंडरस्टैंड दैट द आंसर इज सब्जेक्टिव मोर ऑफ टेंजिबल आंसर्स मोर ऑफ सॉल्यूशन बेस्ड आंसर्स रादर देन कैसल्स इन द एयर दे विल गो विद व्हाट देयर सोल अलाउज दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम दिस एपिसोड ऑफ वर्ल्ड व्यू लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई शैल सी यू अलोंग विद माय टीम इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड इन द नेक्स्ट कॉलेज आगे क्या बोलना था In the next college in the next episode thank you thank you so much